Hi, I'm Bob Hockmuth, County Agent with the University of Florida IFAS Extension. We're here at the Suwannee Valley Agricultural Extension Center near Live Oak. In this module, we're going to learn about how a farmer could utilize various types of insect traps to help monitor populations on a farm. Helping us to monitor these pests is Oscar Lieberg, a professor with the University of Florida IFAS Entomology and Nematology Department who utilizes an assortment of insect traps here at the center. Hi Oscar, what are you checking? I'm checking a firm on monitoring trap. Doing some monitoring here. Why, uh, why are, you, are you concerned about monitoring? Well, monitoring is very important. It, it is the cornerstone for pest management activities. Monitoring gives you some idea as to the pest population. It tells you the, the, the species that, that are present, and also it tells you whether or not beneficial insects are in the area. So we can kind of get an idea of the populations, whether they're increasing or decreasing. Uh, what type of a monitoring trap is this? This is a pheromone monitoring traps. Um, we use it for grape root borer. However, this trap can be used for many different types of lepidopteran pests. Okay, and a pheromone, tell me a little bit about exactly what, what is a pheromone? Well, a pheromone is a chemical substance secreted by one organism, and it affects the behavior of another organism of the same species. And so we're using that to attract certain insect pests in, and this is in our grape uh, planting here, so we're attracting in the grape, grape root borer, which is a type of moth. It's a type of moth. Um, the male produces, the female produces the pheromone, and it attracts the male to the trap. Okay, and so what are the, what are the other aspects of uh, pheromones that are important in, in this particular technique? Well, pheromones can also be used um, besides monitoring for mating, um, to, to prevent mating, and also it's used for a track and kill programs um, to control insects. Excellent. So um, for the grape root borer, that's one of the insects that we're, we're monitoring here through pheromone traps. And I know there's some other uh, moth species. You mentioned Lepidoptera, meaning the different types of moths that we can, we can trap here. And mm -hmm. I believe that there's some other specialists on the farm that are dealing with uh, things like the corn earworm and fall armyworm and other kinds of, uh, of moth species. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Um, I know you've got some other types of uh, traps as well that you're using for monitoring maybe some newer pests and uh, over, in the, over in the blueberries. Let's go over and take a look at them. Oscar, this looks like a little different type of trap than what we were just uh, looking at in the grapes. Yes, this is a non pheromone trap. It, it's baited. Um, we have apple cider vinegar at the bottom of the trap, and we also have a yellow visual stimulus um, that is used as an attractant as well to on the trap. And so the yellow is attracting the insects that, that we want to try to trap in here. And I think just in general, yellow is very attractive to insects, many insects, because they think it's a big flower maybe? Um, well, yellow depicts what they call foliage stimulus. Um, the insects actually think of yellow as a leaf and they tend to be attracted to it, um, especially sucking insects and flies. And what exactly are we trying to trap in this particular trap? Here we're trying to trap a new invasive spotted fruit fly. It's, the, the name is spotted wing Drosophila, and this is a new fruit fly that came into the United States um, uh, in 2008. It first recorded in California, and then in 2009 it was recorded in Florida, and now it has spread to about 28 counties in Florida. Um, this is a very important pest because it attacks a lot of the um, soft skin fruits, uh, for example, blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries. And the, the adults, uh, the female, tends to lay the egg in the, um, in, the, in the fruit, and the larva develops inside the fruit, and this prevents the fruit from being marketable. So the trap really helps us. Without the trap, it would be essentially imp impossible until perhaps it's too late to know if we have the spotted winged Drosophila in this area. So I can see where the trap would be really important with that. If we know we've got the spotted winged Drosophila in, a, in an area where we have blueberries planted, what would be some of the management strategies that could be, uh, could be utilized? Uh, there are a couple of things you can do. Um, well, first of all, if you detect um, the fly with the use of the trap, you can use reduced risk pesticide to manage it. Um, um, the the reduced risk pesticide has to be alternated among the classes to prevent um, insecticide resistance from developing. 
The second thing you can do is to use cultural techniques. Um, regular harvesting is very important in terms of um, keeping the fly population down because uh, the females would have less fruit to lay the eggs into. So we've got a way to kind of monitor, especially these new invasive uh, populations. We're here in Florida and I, I know we have lots of new insects that move in and many of them become pretty serious pests. So it's, uh, this is an important way for us to be able to see those move in. Are there other kinds of techniques that you might utilize to sort of attract and trap insects that ways that we can sort of monitor them coming into something like blackberries? Well, yes, um, there's the, uh, the, the standard um, yellow sticky cards. I usually take one of them uh, with me when I'm walking around. And these are very effective. Again, you, you see that this yellow sticky card, it's yellow in color because, um, again, sucking insects tends to be attracted to it. Um, thrips is a very important pest in blackberries and thrips are definitely attracted to, to yellow. Uh, we use yellow or white or blue sticky cards for monitoring thrips. Wow, so we've learned a lot about what insects are attracted to and the different types of traps that you've put together here are all really helpful in our orchard here we've got as many as 15 different crops and we really appreciate you helping to monitor and to minimize the pesticide use uh, throughout this this orchard so thank you oscar for your part of putting together this overall f whole farm integrated pest management program thank you sir